So there goes our lip balm. We are going to start with our method one. In this method, we need three beetroots. I then proceeded to cut both ends of my beetroot because I don't really need this part. After that, I got my knife and then I started peeling. This will take us some few more minutes, guys. These are our already peeled beetroot. Now get your grater. You can either use the small holes or the big holes. I prefer the small holes so that I can get the beetroot juice much more easier. We are now going to grate our beetroot so that we can make it much more easier to extract the juice. Finally, we are done grating. I transferred it to this other bowl. I then proceeded to blend it. I used an ant blender. You can also use the other normal blender. Blending will make it easy to get the juice from the beetroot. This will take us just some few more minutes. Blend until you feel that it's fine and you are able to get more juice. We are now done with the blending. Now get a wig cup. I used this shopping bag. You can also use a strainer this way. You'll also be able to get the juice. This is the match I have been able to obtain. Using a shopping bag is great for this job or use a cheesecloth or a wig cap. We are going to strain our juice carefully so that we may obtain all of it from the beetroot. Beetroot juice is so good, it removes pigmentation and it also removes dark spots on your skin. We are now done with the extraction of the juice. This is the match we have been able to obtain. We are going to use coconut oil. Now transfer your juice onto your pot and then light up your fire and then start putting generous amount of the coconut oil in this method we are going to obtain a lip balm and also we are going to obtain beetroot oil beetroot oil is so good for dry skin and it makes the skin softer and youthful in appearance. You can also use it for cooking. It is also good for cooking. So we are going to continue stirring consistently until our mixture is thick enough. The beetroot will settle at the bottom and the oil will settle at the top. Just mix thoroughly as you continue eating using a low flame. Our consistency keeps on changing and it is now much more thicker than it was.
as you can see the oil is on the top and the beetroot juice is left at the bottom of the pot Continue mixing until you feel that everything is ready. We are not going to separate and this is what we have extracted is our beetroot oil. You can use it guys for your skin and also for cooking. This is the separated lip balm and it is ready for use. On to our second method, we need our beetroot juice. I only used two beetroot for this process. We then add the beetroot juice to our pot, light up the fire and then we start heating using a low flame. We also use a cooking stick so that we can continue stirring continuously until we get a thick consistency. In this procedure, we don't use the coconut oil at the eating process. It comes afterwards. So now we are going to keep on stirring until we get a very thick consistency. It takes very few minutes, around 5 minutes for the beetroot juice to get to a thick consistency. And once you achieve this, it's now time to turn off your heat. We now need to get our coconut oil. Before using the coconut oil, let's proceed first to transfer the lip balm to this small jar. Scoop some amount of the melted coconut oil and add it to the lip balm. And then close it up and then mix it by shaking the jar. Give it some good rest for everything to infuse together and finally our lip balm is ready for use. Hi guys, we are now going to try out our lip balm. We only use two ingredients that is beetroot juice and coconut oil. This is how it is. Let me just open so that you may see. This is how it is. I left it to stay overnight and now today is in the morning so let's now try it out so I'm just going to take a little then apply after making it you can refrigerate it so there goes our lip balm it is so safe for you because there is no any chemical in it. I can also demonstrate on my on my palm. So let me just if maybe you are doubting, you're doubting Thomas. Yeah? So let us see. Here we go. When you apply on your hand, it, it appears this way. Yeah, it dries out this way. This is exactly how it dries out, guys. As you can see, it's like made. Eh? It is sticks. It is sticks on your lips. The way you can see, it just stuck on my palm of my hand. Yeah. So, guys, I think we have tested our lip balm, and it is so much effective. Personally, I do love it so so much. I hope that when you try this ready DIY, you'll also gonna love it. Do you love it please comment down below yeah so guys thank you so much for watching until this far we have made our lip balm and we have also tested it and guys it is effective and it does work just get a beetroot it goes like 20 pop just one beetroot or two or three and coconut oil coconut oil is cheap you can buy the small sachets because you can also buy the big one then you use the rest of it in cooking yeah, so guys, that is it. I hope that by now you have seen how you can make your own lip balm.
which is so healthy and it is so great on your skin and it's so glowing on your lips tune in for more diys guys please remember to give this video a thumbs up and guys if you have not subscribed on our channel do subscribe today for more videos coming see you on the next video bye bye